Hello everyone, Rice with Rolling Art Custom Paint here. We got something really cool going on because one of our artists, Brian, is starting on a, a brand new uh, paint series design on a Lowrider ST today. So over the next week or so, we're gonna follow him around and try to get an, a, a feel for his design process. So let's go track him down and uh, see just where he's at with this. Alright, so you got a sketch over here, right? It's a basic. Yeah, that's that's your base baseline for your design, right? For a lowrider ST. Correct. Okay. It, it's the it's the initial intro, introduction to the layout. Okay. The first stripe that I do is always gonna be the foundation. Alright. So I laid out one complete side of the bike. I'm happy with the way that the proportions look. Right. I'm okay. happy with the shape. So at this point, I made a template for the other side of the saddlebag um, that I will flip over and I'll be able to duplicate the saddlebag. Okay. Uh, and we'll start mirror imaging uh, the design on the other side of the bike. I like it. I'm really, really curious and interested to see where this goes. No pressure. No pressure at all. So it's a topaz base though, right? Topaz base, and we are going to be using uh, shades of the topaz is basically a, a gold micron uh, type of pearl. Right. So we're going to be bringing in brown shades of browns, cocos, uh, pewter colors, uh, and the initial pinstripe color that's going to actually set it off and divide between topaz and the color will be a, uh, a color very similar to. Gold. Yeah, man, this sounds this sounds really awesome. I'm really looking forward to this. So, how's it going on this thing? It's coming along. We're just uh, masking it up, uh, masking the the base color of the bike. The bike was already sprayed the actual color, so uh, I've effectively laid out the blueprints for the design. Everything at this point will be sprayed within the boundaries of the tape. So we're just uh, getting ready to spray the first pinstripe color. Awesome. So you've already masked all the other pieces? Yeah, the other pieces are masked off, ready to go. Uh, just got the gas tank. Uh, once everything is masked off, the first color. Right on. All right, so we're we're spraying gold for the pinstripe color. This will be the first initial color we put on. Once the gold is on everything, I'm gonna go ahead and tape on the pinstripe around the border and perimeter of the actual design work I laid out. Okay, so you're about to start spraying that the gold. Yeah. Which piece are you gonna do? You gonna do bag? Start with the saddle bag. What step are we on now? 
Uh, what I'm doing is actually laying out the pinstripe. Um, it's going to be an 8 inch pinstripe on the goal. Uh, because the base color of the bike has already been sprayed, we have eliminated the exterior of the bike color. And I sprayed everything gold inside the actual pattern. I'm going to lay out the pinstripe in 8 inch. And that'll like get uh, masked up and everything else will start to transpire inside uh, the perimeter of the pinstripe. Um, and we'll just keep adding layers and graphics and artwork until it's completed. Killer. So you're laying the last stripe out now? This is going to be the last of the uh, first stripe. This will be the, pin, the last of the pinstripe uh, for the entire job. Okay, then what? Then we're going to come in with uh, a, a sixteenth of an inch uh, tape and lay out the second stripe. Okay. And you go through every piece and do that? Yes. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so what we're doing is I laid out uh, the next stripe. This is for spacing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna change the pinstripe size to sixteenth of an inch. The initial uh, layout was eighth of an inch, just to give it some character. I'm using half inch tape to give me my guide for uh, the next stripe to go uh, go down. Oh, I see. So then you lay this orange, and then you pull the green. Correct. Okay. Nifty. Calling this color blazing saddles. <laughs> yes, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Okay, so the tape you're laying now is essentially going to define the blazing saddle, as you call it, uh, pinstripe color. Yeah, this color that we sprayed last is going to get masked up. Okay. And then that's another layer that's that's going to be uh, taped off, and then we're we're going to be working with the real estate that's left in here. Okay. And I will be laying out one more pinstripe color that will be the last stripe of the actual job. Nice. All right.
you got there? Uh, this will be the last color. Is that this one over here? That is the color, yes. And this is supposed to emulate the color similar to the factory wheels on the ST? The ST is like a burnt bronze color, and this will be the final color uh, for this, this particular job to tie into the paint. Balance my job. All right. Cool. Well, don't let me hold you up. That's different. What part? The graphic itself. It's kind of high tech, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. There it is. That is cool, man. Shadow uh, gonna be? Black. Black? Cool. So that that dries pretty quick if you're able to lay that down and then just immediately start peeling. Yeah, it's basically. So that'll dry fairly quick. Just want to give a few minutes in between before you touch it. So are there any more layers at this point, or are you? 
unmasking it completely. We're going to unmask this panel and we're going to work our way back out uh, airbrushing. Okay. We'll add more drop shadows and uh, airbrushing to get more contrast. What does that do? So basically what I'm doing is, is uh, when you spray up against any of uh, your blue line or fine line tapes or anything, um, you have a tendency to get a rough edge. The paint will stand up on the actual edge. And what I'm doing is just taking a piece of tape very gently and just tapping it over the top of the stripe and it'll take off anything that could potentially be left over. Just kind of blot it. Don't don't drag it. Yeah, all the stuff that's on the tape is just what was up against the uh, actual tape itself. It's, I mean, it's like hairs. Yeah, very fine. Yeah, very fine. So, yeah. Open this design up because I've already got my colors on. I'm just gonna decide. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more airbrushing on another color. the final unveiling. I'm excited. You tell me you're excited. I'm overly excited. <laughs> well your face says it all. <laughs> words out of my mouth. <laughs> but that's it. That's all you get, man. Got a fairing for Christmas, but you have to wait till next year for the bags and the... For the bike? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to stare at this all year.
Right, so that's Scotch Bright and what? This is Aqua Clean and uh, Gray Scotch Bright. I've already sprayed Intercoat Clear over the top of the graphics, so they're fairly protected. So the Gray Scotch Bright's not going to take off any of the artwork, but it allows me to clean off any tape residue, any fingerprints, anything that is uh, suspect or left. Yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't have even realized Topaz was under that a moment ago because it just looked black. Now you can it's see that. It's a black coated You can see the black material. Right, so this is the inner coat. Considerably clear pearl? I'm sorry, what? Like a clear pearl? Uh, it's gold, gold pearl. Oh.
that it? Is it finished? Are they done polishing it? This will be the finished product. Uh, they're finally done polishing it. And they're just inspecting uh, how the overall process came on. Man. This, this is, an in this turned out incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, in the beginning I was having a little issue with uh, blending the colors with the tone pads. It's a very odd color. It can go to the green side, it can go to the gold side, depending on what actual accent colors you put with it. Um, going with the pewters and the browns and the golds actually uh, seems like it works in unison pretty well. Yeah, I'd have to agree, man. I. And even as we were going through the process, it was, this isn't what I imagined. This is better than what I imagined. Uh, through, the, through the process, you really don't see, uh, you know, when everything's masked up and unairbrushed, uh, it's hard to follow what stripes are going to be, you know, dominant, what's going to be, you know, your dimension. Uh, but once you unmask it, understanding the airbrushing, It'll, it'll show you where, uh, it'll, it'll tell you the story. Yeah, well, awesome job, man. Truly. Dude, this thing's awesome. I know. You know what we should call this? Yeah, what? Vader. Vader.